G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines at Bribey Island in South East Queensland. I'm with the guys from Stesco and in particular Lance Warren here who's taking us through the top line of their runabouts. And runabouts have always been a big thing for Stesco and you make, a various, uh, you make various ranges of them from entry level through to the, uh, the Cadillac. Yep. Tell us about what we've got here. Well today we've got the Stesco Amberjack 520 Steve. Um, one of our premium model boats, it's the top of the range as far as our um, uh, runabouts are concerned. Very popular boat, uh, heaps of room in the back of the boat, uh, four mil bottom, three mil top sides. And as you've seen, we put them on a Stesco trailer. Um, with the, on the Stesco trailer, the warranty comes up to a 60 month or five year warranty. Um, heaps of room, great versatile boat for either fishing, um, whatever we want to do, tubing, skiing, whatever the case is, but a great all-round boat. I noticed that the runabout style of boat is something, if you've, if you've had the $7,000 tinny, there have been a lot of those around recently, you're tired of the discomfort, the lack of shade, um, you know, you get beaten around a bit in them. This is, this is a long way up in comfort, isn't it? Like, it is, if you want to take yeah. the family out, you've got the shade and the amenity. Uh, tell us about your standard uh, customer for this style of boat. The standard customer of this sort of boat is uh, the person who wants that nice ride, it's got that big four mil bottom, which gives you a nice softer ride on the soft ride hull from Stesco. Um, the customer is probably looking for that little bit better um, ride in the boat, um, a bit more versatile, um, yeah just a little bit heavier on the water. Now the, the really appealing to me is the fact that the warranty goes to such a big warranty if you put it on that Stesco trailer and you can get the galvanised steel or you can get the I-beam aluminium oh, trailer um, and it goes up to five years if you match the boat with the trailer and it's sort of a no-brainer to me to yep. put it on those OEM trailers. Yep. Well we've, we've done our research with the trailers, they're best suited underneath our trailers, they hold our boats well um, and yeah we're happy to, to warrant them from five years. Well on the back of this thing is Yamaha's new F90, let's have a chat to Will Lee from Yamaha about that engine. So Will, the back of this boat's got Yamaha's F90, two years old now this motor, how's it been going in the marketplace? Oh look Steve, we're super proud of this engine, look our team in Japan have gone over and above with this engine and um, and it's just made waves immediately in the Australian market here for us. So. Um, four stroke motors and the whole have been very well accepted in Australia, there's only uh, one or two brands that have got two strokes left now. The amenity of the boating is wonderful isn't it, the fact that there's no smoke on the start up, you don't have to buy or add oil and it doesn't burn the oil, makes for pleasant boating doesn't it? Yeah look I think boating now with four stroke technology is nicer than it's ever been, particularly for those people that may not have grown up with boating that want to you know invest into their first boat and spend some quality time out on the water with their family and friends there's not a better time to do it now with how quiet and nice these boats are to be on the water. Now it's Tesco have really lifted the bar with their warranty five years on the hull and trailer how's Yamaha go? Yeah look we got a four-year pleasure warranty on our engines and um, and you know it's well received by the customers for sure. Well every single boat we've tested with Yamaha's F90 has delivered great economy let's get this boat on the water and bring you some performance statistics. Well there you go, the conditions deteriorated slightly today at Bribe, ended up with around 10 to 15 knots, a little bit of white capping on the water, a pretty decent day to test the capabilities of, the, uh, of this Amberjack. Um, it's sort of a day 
at the at sort of at the high range of what you go fishing in. If it's blowing 25, you're not going to be going fishing in this boat. But as it was, uh, the Amberjack was able to get us out there comfortably, uh, provide us a lot of shade and provide a great platform uh, to fish or, or take the family out from. Um, what I liked about the boat is I do love that bimini and I like that shade that it offers. Uh, in these climates, um, it's pretty important to stay out of the shade and uh, it doesn't cover the entire back of the boat. You can sort of cast around the back, you can get up in front of it and get above it, but that bimini covers the area that you're going to spend most of your time in. Um, I love the fact that it's got quite a shallow draft so that when you want to get on this boat, you can spin the, uh, the transom around to the beach, climb in easily and then, uh, then reverse it out. Not all deep draft boats you can load from the back. Um, I like those new Stesco seats that are in there. They're, uh, they're comfortable, they're practical um, and they're going to be uh, comfortable to spend a lot of time in when you're out on the water. Uh, I like the fact that you can flush mount a sounder up to nine inches in the dash. Um, I'm not a real fan of bracket mounted sounders. This one can fit what you need for this sort of fishing right in front of you and do it securely. I uh, also love the glove box. A lot of boats lack a place to put your mobile phone, your keys, your wallet, all the things you don't want to get wet when you're on the water. So this gets a tick for that as well. Uh, I also love that underfloor kill box. Doesn't matter whether you're fishing for whiting or brim or flathead, you want somewhere to put those fish. It's going to keep them out of the road, you can throw a bit of ice in them and it's going to be easy to clean at the end of the day. Um, those full carpeted floors from front to back, you can keep all of the fish cuts off those, throw your catch in that uh, carpeted box. Um, is this a boat that I would buy to take offshore? If you want to go offshore fishing, I would buy other boats in the Stesco range that'll do the job better. But if you want a boat that's great for estuary fishing, doing calm water stuff in both the rivers or dams with the family, this is going to be right in your hitting zone. Um, fuel wise, the best economy was at 3,500 RPM, where it delivered 3.4 kilometres for every litre of fuel burned, and that was going 33 kilometres an hour. That gives you a 350 kilometre theoretical range with that 110 litre fuel tank in there. So you will not need to worry about fueling up on any weekend trip in the waters this boat was designed for. Um, wide open throttle, you can go 65 kilometres an hour, but that fuel economy halved down to 1.7 kilometres per litre. So uh, if you want to drive it efficiently, you can get some great range out of this boat. If you want to get home quick, it's going to cost you a bit of extra money. Um, if you want to keep up with all of the Stesco information, both Instagram and Facebook, like Stesco, uh, for the website www.stesco.com.au, this boat $40,000 is tested. Check it out at your nearest Stesco dealer.